In this video, we'll look at writing open and closed questions. So I'm going to do two of each. First, an open question. And that would be something like, what is your favorite color? This is an open question because the responder gets to choose what they're going to answer. They can pick any color at all and you didn't suggest anything. That helps avoid bias because they can pick whatever they want. That's open question. Let's do another one. Another open question would be something like, what is your favorite team? But hold on a sec. If we do, what is your favorite team? Some bias might creep in because someone might wonder, do you mean a sports team? Do you mean any kind? Okay, maybe we specify sports team, but then they might wonder, do you mean my high school team? Or do you mean a team I played on? Or a team I watch on TV? Or it might be tricky. Does it have to be a, a sport that's recognized? So it gets tricky. So let's make it even more specific. Let's say, what is your favorite NHL team. And now we've made it accurate. We haven't led them anywhere. It's still an open question. They can pick any NHL team that is National Hockey League team. But what we've avoided is ambiguous question of we're not spe specifying when we earlier when we're thinking about it what kind of sports team and which type of sports team you meant. So that's an example of an open question that has very little bias, if any. There's a, two open questions there. Let's make two I can label those. Let's make two closed questions. Let's start with one about favorite color again. I'm going to ask, what is your favorite color? This time I make it closed by giving them choices. And when you do that, I put little boxes or blanks. When you're doing a closed question, you're giving them the choices, but make sure that you try and pick all the main ones. So maybe red, green, blue, what else, black. It would probably be a mistake to put like a really obscure color like fuchsia or maybe violet. And some of you might think, oh, what if violet's their favorite color? Okay, we'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna list maybe some others that are sort of sort of the main colors, maybe, maybe black, maybe white. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have every main color, but you should get maybe brown worth putting on there. Sort of the main colors. I think I got most of them. But what if their favorite colors isn't there? You need to have an option other and give them a blank space where they can fill it in. Now we've made a closed question. Why is it closed? Because we've given them the options. They pick their favorite one or they pick other and tell us what it is. That's a closed question. So I'll put here closed, and we'll do one more. Instead of favorite color, let's say we ask something about sports like we did with the last one. What is your favorite sport? But just a note before we continue is there's a danger here that might be favorite sport to play, favorite sport to watch. What if they think favorite sport to watch on TV versus favorite sport to watch live, like actually go to the arena or the stadium? So I'm going to change this question to say, what is your favorite sport? I'll remove the bias by favorite sport to play. Now again, it's a closed question. So we're going to want to try and avoid bias by picking Usually a good idea is like eight to 10 things, and we want to try and pick the main sports. Assuming you're doing the survey in Canada, what are some of the main sports? Maybe baseball, uh, basketball. Some of you are thinking maybe faster than I am. Some of the, how about football? Maybe soccer. Well, I can't forget hockey. What's another main sport? Sort of the sports that a lot of people play maybe in high school, I don't know, skiing. I don't know, you would say you play ski, but you go skiing. What's another sport you would play? I don't know, badminton, tennis. And some of you might think badminton's many out there. Okay, we're not gonna be perfect. We're trying to avoid bias by picking, oh, golf's a good one. Sort of the main sports. When you think of sports, what are sort of the main sports that people play in the group, the population you're trying to survey? So we put blanks or boxes for what we think are the main sports. And then 
Again, what if that's none of those are their favorite sports? We need an other and give them a chance to state their own favorite sport that isn't in the list. So that's how you write open and close questions while trying to avoid bias.